Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Transparent Homeschool. My name is Beth, and um, today I'm going to bring you a really quick, uh, well, hopefully quick, math flip through of the good and the beautiful level K and 1. So this year coming up, we will be having a kindergartner and a second grader. So this will be my kind of first official uh, year homeschooling two kiddos, like formally. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, so this video is just really going to be kind of about how um, we have housed the Good and the Beautiful um, math manipulatives and um, all of that. And so what I wanted to, to say real quick was that for the, um, the math levels is that we have already completed a level one program. And um, at the end of last year... I didn't feel really confident in moving on to a level two math program with my son just because there was a lot of concepts that he wasn't 100% like proficient at. And so I decided this year to switch to the good and the beautiful and to kind of try again. Um, and so I'm going to be doing math a whole different way this time. And so what I decided to do was put the timer on for 45 minutes and start. And then at the end of 45 minutes, whatever we've gotten completed, that's that's the end for the day. And so if he gets one lesson done, great. If he gets two lessons done, great. Um, but I figured since we've already done level one, this will be like a really good review for him and then extra practice at those concepts that he had some trouble with last year. And so my hope at the end of this year is to just have him be really confident with his math abilities because that's one of the reasons I believe that people are, don't like math is because they just don't have the confidence in themselves to do it and that's what I want to give my son and so um, we're just gonna start over and if we finish level one we'll move on to level two um, whenever he finishes that so with that being said what I think I'm gonna do is um, First, I'm gonna give you kind of just like the flip through of everything, and then um, we will go and look at my storage, I guess if you wanna say how I've stored all of the math manipulatives. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and then we're gonna get started. So first, what I have here are all of the manuals, okay? And so um, what I really wanted to do was just, first of all, show you that they all have two books, level K and level one. So this is part one, and then this is part two. And then this is what comes along with it. And there's a little about me page, and you fill in the year, and then you go through and you make a calendar for every month. And I think that is adorable, and I cannot wait to start this. I think my daughter is going to have a blast with that. So um, with this, I am just so excited to start off her math journey with the Level K version. I do believe that um, she's really going to enjoy this because she is a very colorful person. And so this, I mean, this curriculum, if you guys know anything about the Good and the Beautiful they do not shy away from the color popping pages. Um, and so I think that's going to really grab her attention with math. And I do think it's going to make um, make her really into it. Which is very exciting because the math program we were using last year, um, it was a great curriculum. And um, I will sing its praises. It just, I don't think it was working toward the end of last year. And so... Um, Having said that, the pages were dull, and they were just the same black and white and um, no color. And so um, already you can just see that there's just really super fun activities for this. And, I mean, it, probably in the same in the level one. Like, there's just color all over, and I think I just love that. So anyway, um, that's kind of the, I don't know, quick flip through of the first course book. Now I hope, and I say this, but again, with homeschooling, you have the freedom to 
um, hold back if you think that your child's not really getting it. So I hope that we can have this done, um, uh, part one, by the end of the second quarter, and then the third quarter and fourth quarter go to part two. Um, and so, again, there's just a whole lot of different um, – color there's a whole bunch of different activities and i just love all of this i love it i love it i love it i am a very visual learner and so all of this color really grabs my attention okay so at the end of kindergarten if we get through part one and part two this will be kind of what we end up on as far as her concept so we have fact families um, counting by twos, so she'll do that. Comparisons um, and measuring. Let's see. Shapes, that's good. Shapes, fact families again. And so again, I just think that really by the time we end, she'll have a good, hopefully, um, solid foundation on the level K concepts. And so um, I'm pretty sure these are comparing in sizes. And then um, these are the art cards, or the um, shape cards I'll show you in, in a second with the manipulatives. So here's a number line, and then a hundreds chart, all kinds of really, really fun activities. So I'm going to quickly show you the table of contents for the first part. So by the end of the, of the um, second quarter, we shall hopefully complete Lesson 60. So we're going to be doing um, small adding, part whole, let's see, patterns, missing numbers, counting on odd and even numbers. So I think a pretty good um, kindergarten math curriculum as far as I know. Again, I've only had experience with one other. But the concepts are very similar from what we covered in his kindergarten math curriculum. So my daughter is really, I think, going to take to that, and I couldn't be more thrilled. So now on to level one. This is also what comes with it. It's pretty similar, kind of, I guess, to the calendar. Obviously a little bit different in size. Um, but I think this um, is a lot more interactive. So these are uh, stickers that they can do. And then again, about me. Here's a little information page about how to use it. And it tells you in each lesson when to use this and when not to use it. So again, you have uh, your empty calendar, and then you have all of those stickers in the front to, um, to put in when you need to. So again, I think we're really going to enjoy this because my son is a very detail-oriented person, and so I think having like a planner is really going to help him. Again, two parts, part one, part two. And so hopefully I have us... I don't want to say I hope that we're done with this by the end of the first, of the second quarter. Um, but again, there's just a few concepts that he's not like solid on. So I don't know if we're going to be spending a whole bunch of time um, kind of on all of these. So like making 10, he's a pro at that. Graphing, he needs some work there. Doubles need some work. Um Subtraction needs some work. Uh, seven fact families, he's really good with seven fact families. Um, let's see, symmetry, he's really good with symmetry. So, you know, I just think time, half hour, he's, he's excellent at time. I don't think we're going to be spending a whole lot of time on time. <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, that's hopefully, like I said, we're going to be kind of out of this level hopefully like i said again by the end of the second semester uh, i'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes and then we will just go and if we get two lessons done great if not you know we'll just go at his pace because i really like i said want him to get that super firm foundation so um again lots of color he's gonna like this too um however he's easily distracted and so i really hope this doesn't become a hindrance to him but well, we're going to give it a whirl and see where we go from that. So, the equal sign. Here's review. Again, money. He's great with money. 
And then these are some of the appendix pages back here. So, oh, that's a cute part hole picture. All that too. See, like, wow, just so cute. And then here are the timed activities. I think they have um, in the lesson, like, to record your results on the timed activities. So that's part one, and then part two here. This is what we're going to be covering, and then again, hopefully we finish this before the middle of the year. That way we can go on to level two. But again, I'm going to take my time. If he needs it, if not, we're going to rush through some things because he might not, you know, need to take some time on the things that they have us doing. So that's the table of context contents real quick. And again, just a quick flip through. Super colorful. It does seem like there are a lot of um, words on here, but again, what I do is I kind of read it through before we go over it, and then I kind of summarize it in my own words, and then um, put it in kind of language that he understands, because sometimes he has trouble understanding instructions. <laughs> what what a uh, seven-year-old boy doesn't, you know? So anyway, so again, going on, here's a quick flip through. Gosh, I wish my math curriculum were like this when I was a kid. I mean, does anyone, like, agree with me? We have those super boring textbooks in school. Like, can, if, if it were this colorful and kid-friendly in school, maybe I would have done a lot better in math. Like, look at that. Where was that at? That is gorgeous. The solar system sums. That is so cool. So, Okay. Quick flip through. Money, that's the end. Okay, so that is all of the man, um, the course books that we have for math. Now, I'm just going to come right over here, and this, like I showed you in the room tour, is where I have all of my math manipulatives. And um, this is from Ikea, and I love it. It's been with me for two, almost three years. No, it's been with me for three years. And I've used it for different things, but this is where... Uh, since I started homeschooling, I've kept all of our math manipulatives. If you guys don't know, the program we used before this was Right Start Math. And Right Start Math comes with so many manipulatives. And so I had to, I mean, each one was, it was crazy. So what I've done now is I have given each kid, like, um, designated bins. And so M1 is math one and then MK is math K. So my son gets one, two, three, my daughter gets two, and then the place value charts, um, each of them have one. So that's where they're going to be kept. So for the math one cards, again, there's not a whole lot of manipulatives, um, a lot less than the good and the beautiful or not right start math. Um, so if this were my math cards, box for right start math there would be tons I mean it would be full and so you can see I just use Greek yogurt cups and these are the cards that um, come with it and you just kind of tear them on the lines and that's that's what we got there so anytime we need those that's where they're going to be and if you're wondering I used chalk markers on these to get them really vibrant um, and I love how it turned out so here we go with the M1 manipulatives. So we have a clock from the Good and the Beautiful, and then this was the clock from Right Start Math that we got. Um, I like to have two clocks, one for me, one for him, to help, and so I just put both of them in there. These are the wooden geometric shapes that come with it. Here are some domino cards. These are um, plastic circle like bingo chips or whatever. And then you have two um, like board game pieces and then some dice right there. Let's see. Oh, a measure, a tape measure. And then here are all of the bag manipulatives. So these are the seashell ones. Let's see, I'll put those over there. Egg shells, fraction pieces, marbles, tan grams, and then the base 10 bricks. So that's where I'm going to keep all of our manipulatives for math one. And then on the next shelf, 
next box, whatever you want to call this, are his cards. So here are his Tangram cards up here. And then more Tangram cards that he has to make stuff with. More. And then down here are like the game cards that he has to use. And so um, whenever we are told to, to get the card out, that is where they will be. And so they are all down here. And again, you know, I, I sound like a broken record. And everybody who, who makes videos about the good and the beautiful just always harps on this. But y'all, look at this color. I mean, and they're not like flimsy pieces of paper. They are sturdy. They're laminated. And so they're easily to be um, used over and over. And if they get, you know, dry erase marker on them, you can just wipe them off. And they're amazing and so pretty to look at. So that's what we got there. And so all of those were math one. So those are all the things that my son is going to be using. So then now, like I said, in this next one are the place value charts. And I have not yet um, made... Oh, yeah, I have. So here are their names. So here's my daughter's, and then here's my son's underneath. And then this is each of their things. And so I haven't cut them out yet. I don't know if I'm going to before we actually use them. I might cut them out as we use them. So I don't have, like, a bunch of stray pieces of paper kind of floating around everywhere. So then next we're going to go to Math K down here. And I have a lot less cards in here than with Math 1. Hang on. Okay. So, as you can tell, with the Math K um, cards, there are a lot less than with Math 1. And so these are just um, lots of different um, shape cards and then um, some... 10 frame here, different kinds of those. And then they come with a writing card for numbers, 1 through 10. And then a part hole circle or a part hole um, work mat. I thought that was pretty cool. With with the right start math, they had you like drawing right part hole circles every time you were using them. And I love the fact that something is provided for me. So then in here for her... There are these um, wooden cubes, a two-wire abacus. I'm not really sure why there's only two wires. Again, the one that came with Right Start Math was a full 10-wire one, so you could easily add up like to 100. So um, I'm not sure if we are going to use this or if I will just um, get the Right Start Math one back out and use that. Let's just, I guess I'm going to see where where we go with that. Here are her, some number cards, 0 to, I believe, 20. Let's see. Yep, 0 to 20 in this one. These are some 10 frame cards. Again, I believe 0 to 20. Yes. Or I think 18. Was that 18? And then some shape cards. And then an odd and an even card. Oh, that's where that is. Okay, so I have to change those. So that's where those go. And then over here again with the bag manipulative. So B manipulatives, inchworms, garden, like plants and different things. And then a huge bag of pattern blocks. And then it came with this die right here, but then I've collected these over the years, so I just put them in there just in case. And then a thing of toothpicks. So that kind of concludes everything that I have here for math this year, and I'm so excited to use them because um, they are gorgeous. Oh, you know what I forgot? That's right. With math one, um, the level one and two math kit comes this game of instructions and so or this book of instructions so whenever you have to play a game in a lesson it will refer you to this page um in this book and then you can kind of read what you need and how to play in the rules and everything like that which i think is super cool 
So that also comes with the level one. So that is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. I didn't want this video to be too long, but alas, when do I ever get what I want? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so, um, again, this was Math 1 and Math K from The Good and the Beautiful. And, hey guys, I hope you have a really great day. I hope you guys are having a good summer so far. Our summer is coming quickly to an end. Next week will be the start of our school year, and so we are kind of clinging on to summer. But, uh, hey, school's approaching fast, and um, I'm excited about that too. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye, everyone.